Before getting into today's topic, I wanted to give you two super quick reminders. One is to check out TubeBuddy. It's going to greatly increase your productivity and efficiency on your own YouTube video with its bulk processing tools, keyword explorer, and thumbnail generator. They have a free version, which is already really great, and the upgrade to the pro version last time I checked is only $9 a month. You can't beat that. So check out TubeBuddy with my link in the description below. I would greatly appreciate that. And then the second reminder is for Spreadshirt.com. So if you've enjoyed the logo that I created for my YouTube channel, which I worked really hard on, the guy lifting up the recliner, sort of the everyman feat of strength, and you were wondering whether that logo is available on any merchandise, t-shirts, mugs, bags, and what have you, it is on Spreadshirt.com. And so I've, again, worked really hard on getting that design out and available to people who get a kick out of it and find it interesting. And I've included that link as well in the description below. And again, I greatly appreciate your support on that as well. So let's move on to today's topic. Enjoy. What's up, YouTube? And welcome back to My Block Strongest Man, where we discuss using objects all around you in your house or on your property to get in that workout. Remember, burning some calories is better than burning no calories. And small goals matter, everyone. Small goals matter. So today... I wanted to talk about some history of strongman. And I know that sometimes I do unconventional weightlifting. This one's going to be a little more conventional today. It's going to be done with a dumbbell, but still a little bit unconventional. And I'll tell you why. So I'm really into the history of strongman and the importance of things like that, like Eddie Hall's 500 kilogram deadlift. And in this case, the Thomas Inch dumbbell. So just to get you up to speed on what the Thomas Inch dumbbell is, Thomas Inch was born in 1881 in Scarborough, England, and he was a British strongman. So he got notoriety as a strong youth and went on to be a, a powerful lifting champion in his adulthood. So at age 19, for example, he was declared by major strongman publications as the world's strongest youth, which en enhanced his notoriety. And he said he was inspired by people like Eugen Sandow, who, for those of you in the know, is the inspiration for the statue that is given as the prize to Mr. Olympia every year. So a great mentor to be inspired by. So why was Thomas Inch special? Well, he's associated with the Thomas Inch dumbbell. And so what is the Thomas Inch dumbbell? It's a dumbbell that is especially heavy and also has an especially large diameter handle. So it's described as having a handle that is as big around as a Coke can. And so if you were to measure that, it's two and three eighths inches in diameter. So to compare that to a normal dumbbell, which I googled, a normal dumbbell is one inch in diameter. So uh, you know, well over twice as thick as a normal handle. And, you know, if you've ever tried to grab something like that without extensive grip training, you'll see how difficult that is to do. I've done it just by using a regular handle dumbbell and wrapping, um, you know, some athletic wrap around it to make it thicker. And I got nowhere near two and three eighths inches and it was still super, super hard to do. So what I want to do today is after giving you a bit of history here and how other strong men have been able to lift this dumbbell, uh, I want to try it myself and see how well my block strongest man can do. So I know I can't lift a Thomas Inch dumbbell. I don't own a Thomas Inch dumbbell. I own a regular dumbbell that has a casing around the grip. So it is not two and three eighths inches, but neither is it one inch. So I did the math by measuring the diameter around it with a, or the circumference around it with a string and came up with the idea that the diameter is somewhere around one and five eighths inches. So substantially more than uh, just a plain handle, but substantially less than a Thomas Inch. And what I want to try to do over time is build my way up to be able to lift 172 pounds off the ground with one hand, which is the equivalent of a Thomas Inch, and then try to build up the handle to the thickness of Thomas Inch and see if I can ever get to that. Or, you know, find a way to purchase an actual Thomas Inch dumbbell with that diameter handle once I get into the realm of being able to do that. So, a little bit more about the history. So again, it's 172 pounds and 9 ounces, which for normal people is a whole lot of weight. 
For a strong man, however, a professional strong man, it's not out of the realm of possibility. A lot of those guys can lift 172 pounds, nine ounces off the ground with one hand, but the thickness, uh, the diameter of the handle makes the degree of difficulty rise quite a bit. And so there are a handful of guys who have lifted this and even gone beyond to do extraordinary things with it. So the first one I want to talk about is Mark Henry. And before I do that, let's just give you one more piece of information. Thomas Inch did this as a middleweight. So right here, as a middleweight. Um, the guys I'm going to talk about now are 400 pounders or near that. So Mark Henry is a giant man. And so I love it when my different loves in life come together. So strongman and wrestling. And, you know, I followed pro wrestling since I was a little kid. And when Mark Henry came on the scene, he was billed as the world's strongest man. And so uh, in, in pro wrestling, a lot of times they exaggerate things for the purpose of entertainment and getting the crowd engaged. For example, Andre the Giant was gigantic and very, very tall, but they said he was even taller than he was. And, you know, it, it's all, all in good fun and good entertainment, right? Nothing wrong with that. So I thought... Well, all, all wrestlers are very strong. I'm sure Mark Henry is extremely strong. He was a power lifter, but is he, in fact, the strongest man in the world? And so he went on to go to the Arnold Classic and win it. He won the first Arnold Classic, so he actually proved that he was the strongest man in the world, at least in that point in time. So it was pretty amazing to see that the billing kind of lived up to all the hype. And what I want to show you here is what Mark Henry ended up doing with the Thomas Inch dumbbell. So that's it there. You can see how thick the handle is. And he does a full, not only gets it off the ground, but does a full clean and jerk up over his head with one hand. So it's, it's just totally amazing what he was able to do there. And just getting that all the way up, uh, up over his head with one hand and one of the comments on that video talks about you know people don't realize he's lifting the equivalent of an entire human being over his head with one hand it's just uh, unbelievable and for the vast majority of people it would be impossible to even get it off the ground None, nevertheless do something like that so the next person i want to feature is ode haugen and ode haugen is uh, apparently 66 years old here and he's not only going to get the thomas inch dumbbell off the ground but he's going for a record of how many times someone could lift it off the ground in 10 minutes, I believe is what it is. And if, if you watch here, look at the ease with which he's getting it off the ground. And this isn't a 20-something-year-old guy. This is a 66-year-old guy, according to the description here. And he ends up doing an impossible 63 reps with this thing uh, within that time frame before he can't do anymore. So just think of that at any age lifting and there he's even bending his elbow is it's not even his arm isn't even straight down so he's doing it with some degree of ease um 172 pounds nine ounces for 63 reps um and so we'll finish off kind of the history lesson with what might be the greatest feat of strength that i've seen with the thomas inch dumbbell and that is one of the strongest men of all time, maybe number one or two strongest men of all time, Brian Shaw. And for any of you who know strong man, you know Brian Shaw. He is a four-time World Strongest Man winner, may win his fifth this year. And so he's lifting not one but two Thomas Inch dumbbells, one in each hand, gets them off the ground, and he's about to do five reps, not one but five reps, of an extreme incline bench press with them. Uh, this is almost a shoulder press with the angle that he's that he's on. And he talks a lot in this video about how he has done research and does not feel how feel that anyone else has ever done this before. So, I mean, this is this is crazy. Uh, just trying to do this amount of weight in each hand with a normal handle is really impossibly hard. But imagine uh, the grip strength you have to have to do something like this. So just giving you some background on what the Thomas Inch dumbbell is, why it's important as a goal to try to achieve it or try to work toward it, and what some of the strongest men in the world have been able to do with it, despite the fact that 99.999% of the population can't move it off the ground. And so definitely, as I move on with this video and show you what my block Strongest Man can do, definitely go check out my description for links to all these videos. You should go watch them all and see the original performances by each of these men to get the full impact from their videos and, and you know, get them the views because they really do deserve 
uh, all of the support they can get for doing things like this. So now let's move on and set up a dumbbell myself and just see, I'll, I'll work up, right? I won't start with a max, but I'll work up to a weight um, and see what's the most I can get off the ground with one hand. And so after I'm done, I've done this before. So after I'm done, I'll tell you what's the best I've ever done, but we won't ruin the surprise now, especially if I <laughs> don't, don't get that high. So let's move on to what my block strongest man can lift with one hand, one dumbbell. Here we go. So here's what I was talking about with the handle itself. The inch size would be around this. And as you see, there's a sleeve in the center that makes it a little thicker. And so, as I said, I believe I did the math and it comes out to one and five eighths. Might have been one and three eighths. I'll do the math later and confirm that, put it in the description. But suffice to say, it's far short of a Thomas inch. So uh, start off with just this, right? So it's on the ground. You pick it up, all right, five pounds. So why don't we uh, put some weight on? So we'll go ahead and put a 10 on each side. And we're just doing this for warm up purposes. I don't wanna to go too heavy. And of course we wanna put our spin collars on there. Safety first, everybody, safety first. If you don't put these on and be safe, there are people on the internet who will tell you about it and be angry about it. So safety first whenever you have these available. All right, so 25 pounds should be pretty easy. Get into a squat position and 25 pounds, no problem. So why don't we put, take our spinner collars off and we'll put 25s on each side, bump it up to 55 pounds. and we'll put our spinner collars back on. Get rid of the glasses when we start getting heavy. Those of you who wear glasses know what I mean. You start sweating, things start slipping, and it's distracting. So here we go, 55 pounds. No problem. So we'll add on some more weight. And as I said, I'm gonna to try to keep to myself what my personal record is, my PR is on this. Uh, let's see, why don't we, I feel a little warmed up. Let's jump up to 100 pounds. Actually, it would be 105 if you include the, uh, the bar. And here's what we'll do, let me put in, I'll put in the uh, the wide opening. Well, put the wide opening on the outside so the collar can secure it. Okay, and again, we'll put our spinner collar on there, get everything nice and secured. I'm gonna put it on backwards just so the larger flush side is on the big opening plate. And we'll get one on the other side as well. And I will say we're starting to get close to my max now, uh, which you would think, oh, that's not bad. He's at 105 pounds and Thomas Inch is 172. It's not like it's two or three times this weight, right? But again, the handle thickness makes all the difference. So, you know, step number one is building up to be able to do 172 on a standard or slightly bigger than standard handle thickness. So let's try this uh, 105. All right, so not too bad. Uh, my foot twisted a little bit. I should probably do wear, wear shoes, but a lot of the strong men don't wear shoes, believe it or not. So we'll add some more weight. All right, we'll secure our collar back on. And it looks like it's a little bit uneven, so I'm gonna spin the right one a little bit more to move it over. And that should even it out. All right, so we're gonna add a 10 pound plate to each side here. And as you see, 
the barbell's starting to look pretty bulky. It's starting to look like it has a lot of weight on it. And as you can imagine, this is pretty heavy for, you know, an everyday person who isn't training this every day. And so we are now at 125. So let's try 125. All right, so I was able to do that. I have a little bit more left in the tank, but at this weight, I'm starting to feel my grip failing me. And that's where, that's where the trick comes in, having really big grip strength to be able to hold on tightly. So you're not, um, if, if you're gonna try this at home, you're not gonna put all the focus on sort of the shoulder and the back and um, the power needed to lift it, but you have to squeeze really hard on the barbell, or at least that's what I've noticed. And that's the part that most people don't give enough credit to when they wanna to try to do something like this. So you wanna build it up over time so you can do some uh, grip strength exercises. Those grippers help, and uh, that's, that's really important as well. Just for kicks, let me give this a try with my off hand, my left hand. And the other thing to keep in mind is the reason why you need to squeeze hard is because this thing is rotating in your hand. So I'm, I'm gonna grab it like this, my hand is not at the top, it's around. So you notice the break in my wrist. So when I pick it up, it's gonna to wanna to roll this way. And that's what makes it especially hard. And again, I'm nowhere near the thickness of a Thomas Inch dumbbell handle. So let's try it with left hand and see what happens. And be careful for your feet when you put it down, but Got it up left-handed as well. So that's 125. Like I said, we're getting close to my max. Uh, let's add some more and see what happens. And we'll add our spinners for safety because now I am getting very close to the end of the bar with the weights I'm adding. And so of course, it becomes much more important to have your locking spinners on there so that the weights don't fall off. And so we're now at 145. So we're gonna give this a try and uh, I'll divulge it now, surprise, surprise this would be a personal record for me. My record that the highest I've ever done is 142 and a half. So let's uh, give it a try. Roll a little bit out of the way and let's see what happens. Oh, I wish I had some of those smelling salts. Mm. All right, so that's a new PR for me. Got it off the ground. As you saw, it was hanging from my four fingers. My thumb was not locked around it anymore. So, it's getting really hard with the grip to, uh, to keep that going. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna add some more and see how high we can go. All right, so I grabbed another 20 pounds of plates. I'm not gonna be able to do that much, but let's try 10 more and see what happens. So we're gonna add a five to each side. And now we're really Really close. All right, moment of truth, here it is. So it's not gonna go. All right, well, 145. Another time we'll add five pounds and see what happens, but that's a new PR for me, so Thanks again for joining my blog, Strongest Man. Hope you enjoyed this Thomas Inch lesson and attempt by my blog, Strongest Man. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Share this with everybody you know. Like the video and hit the bell button for all notifications on all of my upcoming videos. And once again, until next time, ciao, homie.